Welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new, my name is Lauren. I'm getting ready right now. I wanted to go ahead and start off a new vlog for this weekend. I just filmed the past couple of days with Thanksgiving and the day after Thanksgiving, and that vlog is up before this video on my channel. I wanted to try and get multiple vlogs during these days that I'm off of work while my brain is relaxing because if you missed my last vlog, I did like a little work update where we are now researching for someone else to join our team. My coworker is no longer with us. She was there for about two months and um, I'm not gonna get into it, it's just no longer there. So back to absolute chaos, back to a huge workload, just back to try and juggle it all. Um, and in the industry that I'm in, towards the end of the year, it can kind of become a lot of things that you have to tie up before the beginning of 2024. So keep your fingers crossed for me, <laughs> I make it through this time. And hopefully we find someone relatively quickly because I definitely want to get back to that team aspect. I've always enjoyed being a team and obviously it helps balance workload when there's someone to also do the work and divide the work between. So I'm just kind of like dreading the work day on Monday. Um, she just got let go this past Tuesday. So I had a work day Wednesday and then I've been off. So it hasn't really been a full week. Um, yeah, just keep your fingers crossed. So I'm really trying to de-stress this weekend, not really think about starting work back up again on Monday. I just don't like dreading going to work. I've been there and it's the worst feeling to dread going to work on a Sunday night and starting up a work week because you're nervous or anxious for what the week is going to have in store for you. But try not to think about it. It's just a little update. Um, but I'm so excited now that Thanksgiving is over, at least the way that I'm programmed, it's now full Christmas mode. It's two days after Thanksgiving and I'm so excited because we went last year and um, I'm actually getting ready right now and Maya's coming. I believe they do these in multiple cities. I know New York had one. Basically, it's like a Christmas bar pop-up and there's a bar that we have called The Courtesy in Orlando. It's kind of by Park Ave area, Winter Park. And I think this is the second year that they're doing it. I can't remember if they did it two years ago, but last year they did a pop-up called Miracle on Orange and it's on Orange Ave. So that's why it's called Miracle on Orange. It's like a full blown Christmas bar, Christmas cocktails, Christmas decorations. So cute and I'm so excited. Last year we waited about two hours to get in to the bar. This year I found online that they did reservations so I quickly booked a reservation and they only had four o'clock though available. So we're going at 4 p.m. which is totally fine. I'm still just as excited to go. I wonder how different it's gonna be from last year if they added any new things or if it's the exact same. I'm really festive. For the Christmas bar I put on my red button-up sweater. I wanted to quickly share my outfit before we left because our reservation's in 20 minutes. I'm wearing this red sweater from Old Navy. I have it in black too. It's actually one of my favorite sweaters. You just can't dry it because it will instantly pill if you do. So you have to definitely hang it to dry, but I really love the fit of it. And I think it's super cute. I wear it to work all the time, at least once a week. So I really love it and it's soft and perfect. I just have it tucked up into like a little bralette that I'm wearing underneath it. I'm wearing my favorite jeans from Abercrombie and then just these sandals. And this is the fit. I'm so excited. <laughs>
Hey, it's Sunday. Um, I'm getting in my car. I'm doing today kind of like a Sunday reset in a way. I'm going to be meal prepping, which is something that I usually do on Sundays, but I'm going to be kind of deep cleaning the house in between like a deep clean because I'm just wiped down the baseboards and like did something like that already. So it's kind of like in between like just like a basic clean and a deep clean. It's like sweeping, wet swiffering, dusting, wiping down everything. So that type of clean. That's the plan for today. I'm gonna, it's 1.30 already. I'm gonna quickly go to the grocery store, come back home, quickly meal prep. I'm doing pasta salad for meal prep this week. It just sounds really good. It's really easy. I'm gonna pick us up dinners for the week. We're gonna do like sheet pan for two nights, healthier breaded chicken one night with like almond flour. I've really been liking that when I cut out gluten, which I introduced back in and I felt no different. So I'm going to the doctor next month, but I reintroduced it back in, I felt no different. So I mean, I guess that's a good thing. While I was like cutting out gluten, I did almond flour breaded chicken and it's actually really good. It doesn't get crispy, but it adds like a different flavor to the chicken and I really like it. So I'm gonna do like a healthier breaded chicken and then um, we have like chili in the freezer that I batched like a huge batch of it a couple weeks ago and we're gonna do that for dinner one night too. So that's why I also just big batch the chili because you keep it in the freezer, you can pull it out when you truly don't even know what else to do for dinner and it's already made. I already did all my laundry. I had like one last load that I did this morning quickly, but I already did the rest of my laundry the past couple of days. Um, we already washed the bed sheets. We did that on Friday. Everything, a lot of it's already done. Um, it's not gonna be as extensive as a clean, but I definitely want to start this week fresh after a holiday weekend, a long weekend, and December 1st is Friday. I also want to edit a YouTube video try and get up tomorrow morning it's almost done really behind on editing I'm gonna try and get a video up tomorrow and a video up by the end of next week and then hopefully just get caught up and I need to start editing I'm kind of debating on doing a year in review video it takes me so freaking long and they just I do it basically for myself but I'm almost thinking like I've done it the past three years and I'm almost thinking is it worth it is it worth it it just takes so long so I'm almost just debating on if it's worth it but this was such a great year so I almost want to do it just even if I don't post it just like have it but I need to start going through all of my videos or all of my like raw footage from this past year and kind of condense it into like smaller files on my hard drive my external hard drive and really just start pulling videos aside so that way I can compile it into a video really quickly. But um, there's just so much footage to go through. Like we went to Italy, we got engaged this year. I've done a lot, a lot of like fun things that I kind of want to throw in the video. So I've just kind of been thinking about that and I just can't believe how quickly this year went by. And then it's gonna be 2024 and um, there's so many things going on next year. Like I'm planning the whole entire wedding next year um, because we're getting married at the beginning of 2025 and there's a bachelorette trip, bridal shower. Um, we're, we're not really doing an engagement party, I don't think. I ran out of storage on my camera. But um, we're not, I don't think we're really doing an engagement party. I'm just like I need to like ask my bridesmaids to be my bridesmaids. I need to go wedding dress shopping next year. 2024 is gonna be like a big year and I'm so excited and I can't believe that we have one more month left of 2023. I don't know, it's just so crazy. Just got home from the grocery store and putting gas in my car and I'm about to meal prep. I'm gonna use my Amazon chopper for this doing pasta salad this week for meal prep. I just wanted something easy, familiar, and this one is really yummy and filling, satisfying throughout the whole entire week. So I'll link the recipe down below. I've made it a couple times and shared it with you guys on this channel, but just a really easy go-to meal prep recipe that we really don't get sick of. So I'm gonna prep all the veggies and do the pasta and then combine it all and divide it up for the week.
incredible. Sometimes I'll like be on my phone scrolling or looking something up and then I'll like sit down for a while. I'm also cleaning out my work bag, which is always a black hole. I never go through this bag. I throw stuff in here. It's like the one bag that I have like no idea really what's in. So I'm kind of clearing this out and going through that bag um, to get it ready for the week. And I sliced the hell out of my finger. And I don't know what it is with me and sharp objects this whole month. I keep slicing my finger on like a knife or I was, I actually got it on video, but I'm not going to in include the video footage because whenever I see blood, especially when it's blood from me, instant tears, you could like talk about blood around me and I will get so lightheaded almost feel like I could pass out. I've kind of 
been able to kind of cope through it and um, like talk myself out of it as I've gotten older but I've always 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 since I was young have passed out I used to do this thing when I was really young and I didn't expect to get into this whole like thing but I used to do this thing when I was young that I would like hold my breath like not even really knowing that I was doing it in like situations where I remember the first time I passed out was my parents were out of town and I had my babysitter over and she was braiding my hair and I I guess held my breath because I was like maybe like nervous or anxious about her doing my hair and I wanted to stay still passed out um I passed out like switching from like hot to cold really quickly or cold to hot it's really weird and like i've gotten like concussions a lot like most of the time so like the next day i'm like sick like throwing up this was like as a kid and then when we used to go to the bahamas during the summer um i used to get my head like i used to get braids put in my hair and i used to pass out but every single summer i wanted to get braids put in my hair when we went to the bahamas and i would pass out every single time and so as I've gotten older I've kind of like developed this fear of passing out and um, sometimes in like certain situations I can like instantly feel like I could like pass out and I have to like talk myself down and like out of it and I don't think I've ever shared this on my channel but um, one time when I got my hair done my old hairdresser she was telling me a story and the story was like bloody and like just like about surgery and it was i think i just like subconsciously like held my breath and i passed out in the salon chair this was like six or seven years ago and ever since then i have had the biggest fear of passing out in the salon chair it's almost like every single time I go, the whole entire time, if I'm not like in a conversation or like engaging in a conversation, I literally work myself up so much to the point where I feel like I could pass out. And sometimes it's like really good and I'm fine and other times I'm not. So I always make sure like my blood sugar is leveled and that I've like eaten before. And it started happening too when um, I would get like a pedicure and a manicure which is also another reason why I don't like going to get my nails done because sometimes it like happens and sometimes it doesn't happen it's like so weird my like blood pressure will just like drop um, and yeah so every time I go and get my hair done um, it's always like a toss-up on like if I'm gonna like feel like dizzy and I've like looked into it and there's this like hair follicle syndrome or um, I don't want to say disease, but it's like when people touch your hair, your hair follicles, it stimulates something to where it like makes you feel like you're going to pass out. I don't know. It could be that. It could be that. But like sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. I've like only ever shared this with like my close friends and obviously Christian. It's just like weird. Um, and I have to like talk to myself in my head and yeah, I guess that's like a weird fact about me that... I like have always passed out and now I can like talk myself kind of out of it and um but also I never really had a fear of public public speaking like obviously I got nervous but that would I'd be fine for that so it's like weird stuff but yeah getting my hair done I feel like I'm gonna pass out a lot of the time and my hairdresser doesn't know that I feel that way <laughs> It's so strange. Yeah, if I didn't have to get my hair done, I probably wouldn't, but I really like having my hair done. So it's like something that I just, I'd like talk to her throughout the whole time. And yeah, I make sure to like distract myself. And then as of recently, it started happening when I would get like a pedicure and a manicure. Like when I just got my toes done last weekend, I like was sitting there and just felt like I was gonna pass out the whole time. I don't, does anyone else deal with stuff like this? Does anyone else like have, this thing too. I feel like I can't be the only one, but anyways, long story. Um, I sliced my finger and tears just like instantly <laughs> flung down my face. Um, I was like doing the dishes and I was putting like the vegetable chopper. My issue too is I try and do things so quickly. It's like I'm rushing to just like get it done and I'm like moving too fast that I'm not like really thinking and I like put 
my hand on the vegetable chopper to kind of like lift it up and I like put my finger on it to lift and I like guess I push down with I don't know anyways I'm gonna finish cleaning out my bag I'm gonna get in the shower get in some comfortable PJs and make some tea and relax and I wanted to go ahead and end up this video I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend of my life vlog I hope you guys are having a great day or night depending on when you see this and thank you all so much for your support you're just leaving the sweetest comments dms it means so much to me reading all of it so i'm very thankful for you all i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye <laughs>